Well, I'm Artifacts of Mars. Uh, some time ago during early summer or whatever, I posted a story on TyrionWatch.yuku.com, an Invasion USA section of how down in Lackland Air Force Base, which is in or near San Antonio, medical personnel were being threatened in order to keep their mouths shut about diseases that are being brought in by the illegal aliens. They're threatening them with long prison terms and um, firings, things of that nature. They're told to shut up. They're told not to discuss with anybody the diseases that uh, were being brought across our border by the illegals from Central America. If that's the only place they're coming from, I have my serious reservations about who some of these so-called Central American children are, but anyway. So, during the course of making my movie Infidel, The Fall of America, I um, contacted Lackland Air Force Base. Uh, and ask them, you know, what's up with that? Would you care to comment on them? I made it clear that this was a press inquiry. And what did they say? Well, they told me, mm, sorry, we can't do anything on this. Contact CDC. You old run around. So, I contacted the CDC. The CDC told me to contact the CDC press office by phone, so I con contacted them, and they told me to, con to contact media at cdc.gov. So I emailed media at cdc.gov Monday, it's now Wednesday morning. Still nothing. So, what I'm assuming is they're probably not going to answer. Maybe I'll update if they do. But here's the point. This is, you know, government runaround. These people don't like having light shined on. Like cockroaches, they scurry away whenever you uh, put the light on them. You see... This is the whole thing. I don't know if you've noticed there's a virus spreading through children. It's a very serious virus. I thought it was only like a common cold or something, but much more serious. It's been reported as a mystery virus and then as human enterovirus 68, human enterovirus 68D. It's getting various names. Either it's a mystery or it's human enterovirus virus enterovirus sixty eight. I think one source call it sixty eight D. It's getting various names from the media. But it's spreading. Uh there's no vaccine, no cure. It's very serious, especially for asthmatics. So you might want to watch out for it. And this is the thing. They're hiding these diseases. I'm seeing reports of people in various places being tested for tuberculosis because of the illegals bringing them in, bringing that in from the south. So... This is actually criminal activity when you think about it. Because the public has every right to know. The public has every right to know what's coming in. What diseases they're going to be exposed to. Another part of my movie I did a quote by it was a quote of a letter by Representative Phil Ging Gingry of Georgia. And he is a medical doctor and was 
asking about the various diseases coming in. He got stonewalled from by the CDC, from what I understand. So, we got a serious situation here. Uh, Lackland Air Force Base refused to talk about it. The CDC refused to talk about it. No surprise there. I made it clear to him that this was a press release. Well, you know, a press thing. You uh, need to wake up and realize that you have diseases that are very serious that are coming in. As I've said, uh, number one on my list is Ebola. Because that's not showing any signs of slowing down. It's accelerating. They're saying that it's uh, growing exponentially. They're saying it may spread to 15 more countries. Number two is a disease that most people in this country have never heard of. Chikungunya. It's associated with tropical countries is actually mosquito-borne disease. Well, what I figured out, I do have knowledge of biowarfare, and uh, one of the tenets of biological warfare is that you can use a disease to temporarily immobilize a population to make them much easier to control. And chikungunya basically is like a severe case of the flu combined with really bad arthritis of the joints. That would do it. It's not usually fatal, but it'll paralyze a population. And here in this climate, it's not going to be spread by mosquitoes. Um... Now, it won't be spread by mosquitoes so much, but if they were to, say, put it into a flu vaccine, some nefarious group, yeah, then it could spread very easily. And number three is our good old friend tuberculosis, which is, and people are being tested all over the country for this now because of the illegals coming in and get uh, giving it to people here. And there's no vaccine. There's an experimental vaccine for Ebola. It doesn't look very promising. It's going to be a tough ride on that one. There's no vaccine for chikungunya. There's no vaccine for tuberculosis. But the, but the pro-vax crowd is saying that all we need to do is get vaccinated and we don't have anything to worry about. Well, she yucks. Um, most of these diseases that are coming in, many of them don't have any vaccine. Another one that could be coming in this country is malaria. But since everybody and this country is really familiar with malaria, that wouldn't be a good one to put in vaccines. So, there you have it. We have the killer diseases coming in, and the authorities won't talk about them. All except for Phil Gingry and, you know, a few licensed professionals. There's Dr. Elena George did a... Uh, interview on Steve Melsberg show where she was talking about this. These are licensed doctors. They know what they're talking about. They've been in the profession for a long time. You're in danger not just because of ISIS but because of these diseases that are being brought in. Wake up, people. I'm Artifacts on Mars for Tyranny Watch News. Thanks for watching.